trying to think of how to present this to you because I want to clarify what I mean when I say the voice inside you. I mean, some people get it and some people's like, what? I'm hearing voices, this guy's, you know, it ain't like that. Um, it's a feeling you get. And with this feeling, you get words, sentences, paragraphs, books, songs. You know, it's how the divine speaks to you is through inspiration basically it's in spirit it is something delivered by the divine but that only happens not when you're working really hard to make a buck it's actually when you're relaxed it doesn't happen when you're worried because you're hoping that your worry is going to stop something from happening no is when you're at peace, when you have faith. It's a feeling you get. Because again, going against it, in fact, I, I, I felt it this morning too, and it happens all the time when my awareness becomes too attached to a particular situation, or maybe, maybe something that triggers you and stuff like that, you know? Right away, you feel like there's something coming out of your chest. It's just like, you're now you're linked with this thing and the uneasiness comes in and now you're feeling out of control because you're attached to this thing and now you're you're siphoning your energy to this thing and as long as you're focusing on this thing it's just <laughs> absorbing your energy and it's like in the mommy you know how things just you started going lifeless and a lot of us feel that way sometimes. In fact, there's a lot of people walking around like that. You know, um, but that's for another story. The point here is to get in touch with those, those feelings. And you've had them before. See, I had to give it a chance at, at one point because, you know, being interested in basically the self-help aisle was my aisle. That, Barnes and Noble or any library. <laughs> Once the internet came about, it's like, yay. <laughs> um, so by having all these influences and knowing all so many facets of this of the field of the mind and the, you know the human condition and things like that, I'm realizing more and more again that the more relaxed you are, the better you're off because that's when you're in a high vibration and. That's when you're in the vicinity of the Father, you know, it's nature. So that's when you feel so good. And when you're, again, you decide to be attached to something that is, you know, uh, you, again, you, uh, you, you know that it's bad for you <laughs> to be attached to that particular something or someone because of the way it makes you feel. And that's the thing. You have to be in tune with what, with what you're feeling. So... Because when these messages come in, again, usually are when you are completely, you know, completely relaxed. And you're not caring, you don't have a care in the world. And sometimes for a lot of people that happens very, very sporadically. <laughs> Rare sometimes, you know, sometimes not at all. And that's sad, you know, because that means that, you know, if you, if you consider also, you know, uh, brainwave states for instance you know you got alpha you got you know uh, theta the delta but what i'm really concerned about what, what is that beta because a lot of us are in, in, in a beta brainwave state freaking 24 hours a day we don't stop it's like it's, it's, it's for you to handle things but you don't have to always be that way. That life is not meant to be that way. So chilling down to an alpha, that's that's really where you want to be because this way you can absorb more information. You can, you know, you can be uh, open. Basically, think about a muscle. When it gets tense, it becomes impermeable. So nothing goes in or out, right? It's the same thing with you. If you're tense, nothing can 
come into you. Nothing can come into your light because you're holding in, right? You be, you're, you're becoming impermeable because you're so tense. You have, you have a firm way of looking at life, you know, that things should, always, should only be this way. And I mean, I can feel that I'm already exhausted because all those muscles are so tense. So as that happens, you're literally shutting down on any blessings coming in. So that's when relaxing or going soft. So in this, also you have to consider your masculine and feminine energies. I have a ton of them. I have a feminine energy. I have gotten in touch with them because this thing about feeling, you know, helps you, you know, uh, consider many things. And as you travel in your journey, you keep uh, encountering situations where, you know, tell you, put it to you this way. When I, uh, basically I've received an audition uh, offer, right, for, for a uh, musical. And a lot of you know it is called The Birdcage. And you know, and this, uh, the note said, you may be required to dress in drag. And I nearly blew a fuse. I was so pissed. It's like, how dare you? How would you ask me to do that? And I was saying, wait a second. Are you, do you have issues with femininity? With you feeling feminine? With you acting feminine? He said, you're an actor. You're supposed to be a blank canvas. You know, so be a blank canvas. And, you know, haven't you heard of Tootsie and Miss, Miss Stoutfire? <laughs> you know, it's a, a, an actor should be able to play anything, right? So at that point, I was also reclining back on the on the teachings of Bruce Lee and being formless, shapeless, like water. So not to judge myself because of how my, where my energy is traveling or what my, basically, I, what I'm trying to tell you guys, especially you guys, you know, because oh, you are taught, you're, you're taught to be, Hard all the time, you know, so that's the misery that a lot of men suffer these days, you know, and um, this is why everything is so messed up with guys these days because we were never taught to feel, and that's some a, a skill that we need to acquire. And what I'm trying to tell you is that you're going to be faced a lot if you have issues with a lot with, with, with femininity, feminine energies, and things like that these situations are going to keep happening in your life because life wants you to again not put any tension any anger on these situations as to i like i always say through understanding you reach peace look into the situation why does it make you so upset right the point here is for you to become in tune with your own energy so you know that you know whenever you are in, in the penthouse whenever you're down in there in the, in the basement in hell right uh, if you maintain yourself in heaven you know a lot of good things are going to happen for you throughout your day throughout your whole life especially if you keep yourself up there but the point I'm trying to make here is that going in tune with with that voice inside you again it, it is a feeling so you must look into the situation and let yourself feel I listened to this voice for the first time when I was sick. It literally led me to the beach. It took me every step, every step, every turn, every step of the way. I had to go downstairs. It told me, take off your shoes because you're in sacred ground. This was the sand. And I was like, yeah, it's Mother Earth, right? So I took off my shoes. I put my, sh my feet on the sand. And this rush of electricity ran up my spine. And I spent the next seven hours at the beach, thankful, because I was no longer feverish. God had taken my fever, and I was at peace. That was my awakening into my spiritual path. And I've been listening to that voice ever since. And I want you to grow in touch with yours. Think about it.